Michael and Cassandra. Oh, here. Poor Papa, you know how he detests mixing business with personal matters. I thought he was going to back out of the merger right then and there. He decides to merge with Mr. Teflon, the Cinderella MBA. Have you seen this? I mean, have you taken a good look at it? Because I'll tell you something, there's no single picture of us. But don't you see? This is our way in. Our hook. What are you talking about hook? You saw what happened today? The press loves a real-life fairy tale. Rich man meets a working girl, they fall in love, live happily ever after. But nowadays, what the media thrives on are the grim fairy tales. Go on. If we're to take control of this company, you and I have to drive a wedge between the lovebirds, drum up scandal, make Daddy and his board members hit the ceiling. In short, divide and conquer. Or... Better yet, divide. Granted, she's perky, bright, pretty, in an obvious provincial sort of way. Yet, there's something about Jennifer, something so calculating. What are you saying? I want to believe fairy tales come true, but this one seems played out by design. As if someone is manipulating her own happily ever after. Oh. And, and you think Jenny is responsible for this? If Katie and Alex were my flesh and blood, I don't think I'd risk their portfolios falling into the hands of someone as publicity hungry as Jenny Morgan. Cassandra called in a lot of favors to arrange this. Royalty buys to be married in this church. Oh, I'm sure they do. And it, it is incredible. It's just a little grander than the wedding that I had in mind. Well, of course, it's up to you, dear. Oh, excuse me a moment. What exactly did you have in mind? Well, ever since I was a little girl, I've always dreamed of having a small, intimate little ceremony with just the closest friends and family. Maybe something outdoors? Oh, lovely. And then afterwards, we can all chow down on barbecue and take turns swatting a pinata with a stick. Well, that's not quite what I meant. I think you're forgetting whom you're marrying. Really? Oliver will expect you to be his ally, mistress of his household, and hostess to kings and corporate heads. My daughter Emily understood that and embraced it. So why don't you just get on board? and get over your childish dreams. That is the altar for the wedding. Oh, bring on the pinata. Would you two like to see it? Sure. sure. Come on. That's the altar for Jenny's wedding? Jeez, looks so plain. And that's all the people she's having? Mm. I've had bigger birthday parties. It's a shame Jenny's so busy. She can't plan the grand wedding she really deserves. It's for wedding day. It ought to be amazing. Hey, maybe we could help out. Pump it up a little. Yeah. And we could call some more people. Yeah. Get some things going on. Like doves and red carpets. Maybe jugglers and those guys on stilts. Yeah. And a carriage and some white horses. Yeah. yeah. I think it's precious. Showing the people you love just how much you love them. I'll even help you. It has to be our new secret. All right. <laughs> 
cool. They got him. What size do you want? The biggest they got. Humongous. Check cakes off the list. Cakes. Hello, is this a circus? You're not for parties. Money is no object. What is this? It only comes in puce? Puce? Ah! Oh. Invitations. Oh no, not not you, Wendy. Uh, let me let me call you right back. What is Oliver doing? Hello, Oliver. How's Barcelona? Jenny, she's off shopping again. Uh, what's your number? I have my pen handy. Six five two one. I'll have her call you the instant she returns. Ciao. Any clue what's going on here? Not a dream like this once. Not a very pleasant one. Oliver! Did you have a productive trip? Yes, yes, very. Uh, in fact, I have uh, some big news for Jenny. What is all this? Well, had I known your fiancé intended a wedding soiree fit for the royal family... <laughs> there must be 200 chairs here. 250 and growing. <laughs> I don't get it. Jenny said she wanted a small, simple ceremony. Well, a person's social status changes, so can her taste. I don't know why she didn't call me about this. I, I, I left several messages for her. And I made sure she received them. Reload the cannon! Well, I'll talk to her. Where is she? I know how you feel, Ari. I do. But you must remember, this is Jennifer's special day, and this is the wedding of her dreams. <laughs> I wouldn't say a word. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we can at least put up a tent. A circus tent. Well, well. Speak of the devil. I want a word with you. And I, you. In fact, we all would. Wouldn't we, gentlemen? And ladies. What is this? I didn't call for a board meeting. We did. What's going on? Always so coy and unassuming. Michael? Our secret's out, darling. What? You stay away from her. Me? Oliver, I'm sorry, but you've got the wrong impression. You see, every time you turn your back, your uh, fiancé, she's all over me. That's a lie. Jenny, pictures don't lie. Well, these pictures do. Oliver, I don't know what they're trying to do. How do you... Explain this. Yes. We're all dying to know. Oliver. Look at me. Tell me you don't believe any of this. I don't know what to believe.
Well, then I guess I don't either. There's photos of Oliver being arrested? Resisting arrest. He says those are the best ones. I can't wait. When does he get here? Uh, and the merger has passed. <laughs> now, with the merger in place, it is time for you, the investors, to vote and decide who will lead CCI Techhausen into the future. Where is Oliver Caldwell? Are the tabloid stories true? Uh, Are they true? No comment. <laughs> we assumed he would be here by now. Nell, this really is too much. Sorry. I have no choice. Please, give him ten more minutes. I know he'll be here. Oh, uh, we seem to have a few more moments. So, here is a short presentation that I created for your enjoyment. Welcome to the new CCI Tech House. Our family working for yours. She created? That's Jenny's program. Excuse me, excuse me, but where are you taking me? I'm looking for a boat. You know, the boat, I don't see the... the boat. Uh, what is this? What, what are you doing? What is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you insane? Where are you going? Please, come back, please! I got you! of a new CEO. Are there any nominations from the floor? I nominate Cassandra Hausen. Carl, please wait. Are there any other nominations? I nominate Oliver Caldwell. Hmm, I'm afraid that's not possible. Our bylaws require that the candidates be present at this meeting. Uh, then I will ask for acclamation by voice vote. Uh, all those in favor, please say. Wait. Point of order. I move that we reopen the nominations. I am sorry, but the voting was already underway. The motion is before this body to reopen the nominations. I second that. How do you explain this, Mr. Caldwell? What about these pictures, Mr. Caldwell? These photos are part of a plot to discredit Jennifer Morgan and me. A plot that was financed by, I'm sorry, Mr. Hausen, but the whole thing was planned by Cassandra and Michael Hausen. Thank you. <laughs> this is ludicrous. <laughs> These charges are sheer fantasy. There is not a shred of truth to the allegations that this felon and his ex-nanny have leveled against me. Oh, Mr. Grimaldi, these pictures are smashing. Fantastic. You're a true artist. Here's $20,000 now. I'll give you the rest tomorrow. You see this? This will be the nail in Oliver's corporate coffin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being framed. Can't you see? This is a setup. Perfect. It's a double made up to look like me. Father's going to go absolutely bonkers. The old fool will have to back me up for CEO now. <laughs> I've been framed. This old fool nominates Oliver Caldwell for president and CEO.